we close the eyes and we open the heart. And we bring our awareness to the body. Being aware of our body posture. Being aware of the sensations of the body. And we can visualize ourselves as we sit there with eyes closed, try to see, try to visualize ourselves sitting here. Where we send our attention, we send our mental energy. So by being aware of our body posture, being aware of our bodily sensations, visualizing the body, we're directing our attention, our energy to our own body, where the energy increases. Being aware of our feet on the ground. Being aware of the arms, the hands, resting on the legs, the back, comfortably straight, not too stiff, not too loose. We can drop the shoulders, just let the shoulders fall. The neck, the head, the forehead, all relaxed. And we bring our awareness to the breathing. This is a metta meditation. Spreading metta means to spread the energy of peace of the heart. And before we start this practice of spreading the energy of peace, we take a little time to make the heart at peace, to energize the heart. We make the heart at peace, we energize the heart simply by keeping our attention centered with the breathing. Just watching the breathing, watching the mind, being aware, letting go. Keeping our attention with the breathing and keeping our attention with the present. The past, the future, we don't need to concern ourselves with. Just being aware of this present moment. Being aware of the breathing in. Being aware of the breathing out. Being aware of the body. Being aware of the mind. Being aware of all that contacts the mind from outside and from inside. Being aware of sounds, ear contact, as they arise, as they pass away. Being aware of bodily sensations, as it arises, as it passes away. Being aware of the light contacting the eye, even through the closed eyelid, there's some amount of light. Just points of light arising and passing. We make it all part of the practice, just observing the arising and the passing of all that contacts the mind, and being aware of all that arises and passes within the mind itself, the mind bubbles, the mind mirages, the waves on the surface of the mind. Whatever appears in the mind, Whatever thoughts appear, whatever emotions appear, we simply observe them. We watch them arise, we watch them pass away, keeping our attention centered with the breathing, keeping our attention centered with the present. <clears throat> so our breathing is our anchor point. A boat can drift in all directions, always will come back to its anchor point. The mind can drift in all directions. The mind can drift to past or future, other places, other people. But always we bring it back 
back to the breathing, back to the present. Just watching these thoughts as they appear like bubbles in the mind. If we take interest in them, with like or with dislike, then we pour our mental energy into them. We create more and more. One bubble becomes a hundred, a thousand, thousands and thousands. The heart becomes a jacuzzi. But just watching, observing, letting go, just staying with the knowing nature of the mind, like a calm, cool, clear oasis, the heart becomes calm, cool and clear. We find the mind's natural state of inner peace. The mind's natural state of joy. As we clear the heart, we clean the heart. We find that peace is the natural state of mind if we stop to agitate the heart. Peace is the normal. The peace becoming deeper and deeper, more and more refined as we let go on more and more refined levels. So we keep our attention centered with the breathing. Breathing in, being aware of the breathing in. Breathing out, being aware of the breathing out. Being aware of body, being aware of mind. Always watching, observing, and letting it go, letting it pass. The heart becoming more calm and the heart becoming more and more unified. Our energy is no longer scattered in all directions. As we keep our attention centered with the breathing, we keep our energy with our own body. No longer scattered in all directions, the heart no longer fragmented. The heart becomes more and more unified. And as the heart becomes more and more unified, the heart becomes more and more energized. So in our meditation, we clear the heart and we energize the heart. And when we clear the heart, we unify, energize the heart. We find something very special within. Our own inner oasis of peace, our own inner sacred space, our own inner sanctuary, where the mind becomes refreshed, the mind becomes recharged. We find our own inner holy well, where the holy water just gushes to surface and overflows. We all have within this holy well but often the well is cluttered, the well is blocked, the well is constricted. Now we watch over the mind. We declutter the heart simply by watching, observing, letting go. The heart becoming more and more uncluttered. And we open the heart. Whenever we have anger, aversion to past, anxiety, aversion to future, we squeeze the heart. We constrict the heart and the energies cannot flow. Now we clear the heart, we clean the heart, we unclutter the heart. And we open the heart, keeping our attention only in the present. This divine energy can flow. This holy living waters flowing up from our own inner holy well. As the energies flow in perfect harmony, we feel this great sense of harmony. 
of refinement, of ease, of comfort, of well-being. The energy is becoming more and more refined, the consciousness becoming more and more refined. The energy is becoming more and more sublime, the consciousness becoming more and more sublime. Lifting the mind, lifting the consciousness higher and higher. The heart becomes more powerful as the energies flow more strongly. More powerful, but at the same time more gentle, more mellow. The heart becomes lighter and lighter, but at the same time more steady, more stable, more secure. The heart becomes still, still but at the same time overflowing, overflowing with this divine energy upwelling from the heart. Upwelling from an endless source, a bottomless source of living waters, living light. Overflowing from our own inner holy well. And we can simply rest the mind within, like a king, like a queen sitting on a throne. A throne of overflowing living waters, a throne of overflowing living light. The mind becoming refreshed, the mind becoming recharged, the heart becoming more and more energized, and we can rest within for as long as we need to, and having rested enough, we can share this energy with the world around us, and as we share this energy, it's like opening an inner water tap, opening an inner valve. As we open the water tap, the energy gushes out. The water gushes out. This living water is gushing out from this inner well. Breathing in, we wish happiness for ourselves. We focus our attention at the heart chakra. And we breathe inward with kindness, with compassion for ourselves. Breathing out. Wishing happiness for all beings. Breathing out with compassion, with kindness for all beings. Breathing in, we can visualize the heart filling with light, which in fact it is. Breathing out, we can visualize the light of the heart overflowing from the heart. And now we'll do this in the ten directions. Breathing in, we focus our attention at the heart, visualizing the heart filling with light. May I be happy. Breathing out, we let the heart overflow to all beings in front. Visualizing the light of the heart flowing to all beings in front. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out, may all beings in front be happy. Breathing in, may I be happy. The heart fills with light. Breathing out, we let the heart overflow to all beings on our right side. May all beings on my right be happy. The energy of the heart overflowing to all beings on our right side. Breathing in, may I be happy, the heart filling with light. Breathing out, letting this light of the heart overflow to all beings behind. May all beings behind be happy. Breathing in, may I be happy, filling the heart with light. Breathing out, letting the heart overflow to all beings on our left side. May all beings on my left be happy. 
and we can feel the heart becoming wider and wider, stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter. Breathing in, may I be happy. Breathing out, we let the heart overflow to all beings above, may all beings above be happy. Breathing in, may I be happy, energizing the heart, filling the heart with light. Breathing out, we let the heart overflow to all beings below. May all beings below be happy. And we do the same in the four diagonal directions. You can do the four diagonal directions without my guiding. Just breathing in, filling the heart with light. Breathing out, letting the heart overflow. As we do this practice, the heart becomes brighter and brighter. The energy field of the heart becomes wider and wider. As the area of our energy field becomes wider and wider, our area of consciousness becomes wider and wider. As the heart becomes brighter and brighter, the heart resonating at a higher and higher level, we raise our consciousness higher and higher. Breathing in, we wash, we flush, we clear, we clean the heart with this living waters of the heart. Breathing out, we radiate this energy to the world around us. We uplift the world around us. So we get the benefit here and now. And we get the benefit in the future because what we give to the universe, the universe will give us back many times over. So we can breathe in joyfully. Joyfully knowing this practice brings great benefit to ourselves. Breathing out joyfully. Joyfully knowing this practice brings great benefit to the world around us. And now we can just observe the heart. How does it feel? Does it feel more open? More refined? more centered, more steady, more still. We watch, we observe, and we let go. And now we visualize the planet Earth at the heart. We put the image of the Earth as if seeing the Earth from space. We put this image at the heart and we wish peace, happiness, joy for all beings on this earth. May all beings on this earth be at peace. From young to old, male, female, human, non-human, may all beings on this earth be at peace. And this practice is doubly effective because as we direct this energy of kindness to all beings on this earth, we are also directing this energy to our own heart. So we get double benefit. We put the image of the solar system at the heart. We visualize the sun with the planets around at the heart chakra and we wish peace and happiness for all beings throughout the solar system. May all beings throughout the solar system be at peace. May all beings throughout the solar system be happy. There are many beings in many different dimensions 
that we cannot see with the eye with the telescope. May all beings throughout the solar system be at peace. We visualize the galaxy at the heart, putting the image of the galaxy at the heart chakra, wishing peace, wishing happiness for all beings throughout the galaxy. May all beings throughout the galaxy be at peace. May all beings throughout the galaxy be happy. And finally, we have no more images, no more pictures, just the intention that the entire universe is contained within this heart chakra. And we wish peace and happiness for all beings throughout the entire universe, without limit, without exception. May all beings throughout the universe be at peace. May all beings throughout the universe be happy. May all beings throughout this universe be at peace. May all beings throughout the universe be happy. And now the heart is very strong. The heart is more and more energized, more and more powerful. We wish happiness for our spiritual teachers if we have, wishing them good health, long life. We wish happiness for our mother, our father, whether living or deceased. They get the energy now radiating from our heart because of the close heart connection with our parents. It's always easy to send them energy wherever they are. May my mother, my father be at peace. May they be happy. We wish happiness for all our family, our children, if we have. Brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, living, deceased. May all my family be happy. May all my family be at peace. We wish happiness for the higher beings who watch over us. As we do this practice, the heart becomes brighter and brighter, and we attract the attention of these higher beings. We get friends, we get bodyguards. We wish them happiness, we wish them joy. And we can invite them to support us, we can invite them to use their energy to help other people we may know. Maybe we have a sick relative. We can invite these higher beings to send energy to our sick relative. They have much more power of mind than we do. We wish happiness for all beings 
who are friendly with us. We wish happiness for all beings who are not friendly with us. May all beings be happy. We wish happiness for all beings who we have ever harmed in the past. By mind we ask forgiveness. We are all connected by mind. We wish happiness for all beings who have ever harmed us and we completely forgive, we forgive completely. And in forgiving the heart becomes more calm, more cool, more clear, more clean. The heart becomes lighter and lighter, brighter and brighter. Wishing happiness for all beings throughout the entire universe without limit, without exception. And now we zoom back down, we put the image of the galaxy back at the heart, wishing peace and happiness for all beings throughout the galaxy. We put the image of the solar system at the heart, wishing peace, happiness, joy for all beings throughout the solar system. We put the image of the earth at the heart, wishing peace for all beings on this earth. And this is not imagination, the energy which we radiate really does help with peace in this world. And finally we zoom down to our heart chakra. We visualize the heart chakra as a ball of white light. With the intention, may this heart be at peace bright and cool and clear. May this heart be at peace. And now we just observe, how is the heart? Does it feel more open, more calm, more cool, more clear, more steady, more stable, more secure? Whatever way the heart feels, we observe and we let it go, we let it pass. Spiritual knowledge is simply this, knowing our own heart. Knowing how the heart is imprisoned. Knowing how the heart is set free. We bring our awareness to the body. Being aware of the body posture. The bodily sensations. visualizing the body and we can visualize the body filled with light this light radiating from the heart filling the whole body we bring the hands to the heart the palms together and now the heart is very strong the mind is very strong our power of intention is very strong. We make the intention to continue with our practice, refining the heart, strengthening the heart, and freeing the heart. We bring the hands to the forehead in gratitude, respect. And back down to the legs, 
we open the eyes and we keep the heart open. <laughs>